Aho! Hi, I'm Rena Wells. I'm your Divine Goddess Oracle. And if you're new to my channel, welcome! I'm sure there's something here for all of you. And for my returning subscribers, just know that I always hold a special place in my heart. You know, you guys, me and my little dyslexia thing that I got going on. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys some messages. I got some really important messages to talk about regarding Christ consciousness, the misconceptions around twin flame connection, about Mother Earth, Father Sky, um, and a whole bunch of other things that I kind of want to put into a little tiny box and put into this video and uh, just kind of give you guys a little bit of insight of what I've been channeled and the vibration that's changing. So hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and I'll be back in just a moment. So welcome back. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about what I've been channeled um, with in regards to, let's start with the different religions that are around the world. I'm really here on a healing mission to end separation consciousness. And that means separation in everything. If you see something as separate from something, then you're probably living in separation consciousness. The key is to see the connection in everything, the connection in your pain, the connection in ego, the connection in how you actually are relatable to everybody around you and that everything is actually a mirror effect. So I wanted to get into the different religions because I got this channeled a while back and then it kind of really came strong this morning right before I was about to do a reading. I got downloaded that... Everything has been a process in our human consciousness in regards to this twin plane journey, in regards to bringing pure divine love into 3D consciousness, into bringing this divine love into physical manifestation. Hasn't been an easy feat, as you can tell. This is why we as twins have always had this separation, creating karmic cycles and things that we had to eventually clear and heal. Now, Spirit came down and showed me the different gods in regards to um, why they all actually work in connection with each other and they're actually not separate. As the thunder goes off, it's about to storm really bad here. So during my ayahuasca experience, um, I saw that ayahuasca really homes the mother energy, the feminine energy, the earth energy, nature, really. And Father Sky that we know is creative seed force that seeded our planet, that brought that manifestation down into physical manifestation with Mother Earth, and they came together to birth life. And that's really how we see all creation and how we birth life. We have the masculine that seeds the feminine, and then we birth life, and we nurture that, and we bring that forward. So I'm going to start with the different religions, the major ones, okay? Um... Basically, what I was channeled with is without Hinduism, and we're going to look at the connection between everything, okay? Without Hinduism, we would have never known about energy. We would have never known about the chakra systems. We wouldn't have known about yoga and other Ayurvedic, sorry, I'm bad at pronouncing these, Ayurvedic methodologies in healing. So Hinduism, then, then different aspects of Sikhism and, and all of that derived out of that was needed into bringing in the foundation of energy work. Now, what I got from spirit was Hinduism was the very and the oldest and the first methodology. And I'm going to call them methodologies instead of religion, because man has really taken everything in religion and has tried to create separateness again in our religions, when really we should be trying to find the connection between all of them. There is not really a religion out there that I don't honor. There is a reason that it has been incarnated on the planet. And there's a reason that it's here to bring some type of enlightenment and some type of understanding for us to bridge separation consciousness, for us to create more connection between ourselves. So I was told that Hinduism is the baseline work and you kind of need a blueprint and we need to know about the energy systems inside of us. And Christianity and Christ consciousness was is one of the last teachings, okay? The whole New Age community is really here in order to bring everything together. That's why it's such a mixed match of everything. Now, Spirit is also telling me to go into um, Buddhism. Buddhism really worked with the mind. Spirit says that we've had to move through, and if you go through all the different religions and all the different processes, it was all a process to build on top of another in order to bring 3D consciousness into awareness so that 
spirit consciousness, masculine energy could seed and come down and create through us. And the feminine consciousness is what we feel here on the planet so that we can ground that into the earth and we can nurture, nurture it and we can love it. So there is not a religion that's here that's not of unity. And so I feel a lot of the dogmas in regards to religion are eventually going to fall apart if we continue on this healing journey together. Um to find the connection between all of it and to realize that the one thing that connects all of our religions together is divine love. So let's talk about the twin flame journey. Now I'm going to be talking in regards to masculine and feminine energy. It's not really man or woman or gender specific. So I don't go there with that. It's all about energy and where you're feeling in your energy. <sighs> Now, oh, Spirit says, let's go back to my ayahuasca experience. Rewind. Okay. So what I was shown in ayahuasca uh, was mother ayahuasca is the divine feminine energy. It's the nature is the planet. It's, it's, it's the nurturing that we lack and the feminine energy that we lack on the planet. And she showed me the grid and, and I'm very psychic. So when I see, and I'm a medium too, and I'm a healer. And um, if you want any information, it's all down there below. Okay. So what Mother Ayahuasca showed me was the grid in that we live in and showed me all the different gods that would rise up. And, you know, Buddha would rise up and we would honor Buddha. And Buddha in that moment of glory would understand and take all of that beautiful grace and understand that that was, their, that was Buddha's time to shine. And then, you know, another god, uh, Ganesh, would come forward, for instance, and rise up. And then Buddha would go and bow to Ganesh. You know, and so these are how the gods work. This is how every master, every um, person that has walked, that has gained a piece of enlightenment, they honor. It's connection. We honor the power and the soul and everybody else. And there's no disconnect. Everything is here for a reason. So let's talk about twin flames. Um, we have to first be able to find the feminine energy before we can find the divine masculine energy. It is the feminine that is the womb that takes and find that the masculine can find connection. And not in the physical body alone. I'm going to talk about your own spiritual growth. Until we understand the nurturing aspect within ourselves and that we learn how to nurture ourselves and heal ourselves, okay, nobody else can heal you. What's happening in the twin flame journey is this is where most people are starting to do this work, the dark work to go through and recognize the darkness that's inside of you. Instead of trying to avoid it, instead of trying to run from it, trying to make it feel better and trying to, instead of trying to fix it, we're always trying to fix things, you guys. And it's not about fixing it. It's about honoring the dark. We created the dark through incarnations and incarnations of pain. And we're here to clear our own karmas based on all the different incarnations that, we, incarnations that we've had. And so the darkness that sits in us definitely is could be happening from past lives. Now, past lives are actually happening in this present moment. Everything's happening right now. So I'll do another video on that down the road. Um, but if you're having past life memories or things from a past life, and this is why my past life readings are really powerful, if you're pulled to getting a past life, is because dimensions sit on top of each other okay it's not outside of you it's actually all within but because we're in the 3d world we're the most compressed and so we're the 3d world kind of like the center of a nucleus or of an atom and you go into the you know you've got the nucleus and then you've got things that matter builds on top kind of think of it like that or like those russian dolls right you've got one doll inside of another the most dense is the 3D world, and it takes a lot to bring that energy down into the 3D world, and it takes a lot to be able to transmute it up. So the only thing that we can do is when you change the basis of the center of matter within yourself and you transmute darkness to the center core of yourself in the present moment, boom, you affect all the realms. And this is a merging of your soul, not just in this dimension but in all dimensions. And so if you're having past life memories or you do a past life uh, reading with me, what that does is it brings what's happening right now, okay? Because it's happening in another time, place, space, dimension right now, okay? Your soul is so expansive. It's not just here. This is just a little piece of yourself that's experiencing 
life and other worlds as well in the present moment. The more that you heighten your intuition, the more that you can actually tap, tap into yourself in other places and bring that into the present moment. So what's happening is if you do a past life with me, it brings stuff up that you may not even be aware of what's happening in this life. It could be because you are ready to merge that aspect of that soul in that dimension into this present moment. Yes, there has been incarnations in regards to people recognizing dates and times have been, you know, from World War II and they reincarnated back. Of course, it depends on the different timeline that you want to come into. But timelines are a whole other aspect that there are many, 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 many different timelines. But we're not going to get too into that, into paradigms and stuff right now. We're going to get into the twin flame journey. So what's happening right now is a lot of feminines are being asked to really own their dark stuff and not run from it anymore. How to heal it, how to sit with it, how to be with it and how to be okay with it. Mama Ayahuasca, and this is why I love plant medicine, really showed me the divine feminine and what nurturing really is. We have a very deep misconception of what feminine energy is just as much as we have a misconception of what masculine energy is. And so Mother Ayahuasca has shown me that that feminine nature, okay, what the pagans, what the natives, what the shamans, what they've what they've taught us, it's it's really powerful, okay, that there this feminine energy needs to be returned to the planet in a balanced way, and we can't do that until we learn how to heal that inside of ourselves. So if you're going through some dark times. And nothing is working anymore, like your meditations aren't working, your Reiki sessions aren't working, um, hit me up because this is what I coach people through. You got to learn how to sit in it. You got to learn to accept that your dark continues to keep coming back. And the feminine energy does deal with dark. We are transmutable beings. We are able to grow and transmute energy and build life from our wombs. So we're very powerful in that way, divine feminines. Now, Masculine energy can't be seen fully and cannot come into the feminine until the feminine owns this vibration. So that is more about Christ's consciousness and what's happening in the world right now, okay? Christ's consciousness is really the direct bridge in how to know the masculine aspect of creation. That's manifestation. And that cannot come into the feminine energy, cannot come into our 3D world until we are healing ourselves, okay? And that's why we get glimpses with our, with our twin planes. And this is why masculine energy is here to move around in the 3D plane. Now, what's happening in the collective right now, I'm not going to go into too much about the mirror effect and things like that, but what's happening right now in the collective right now is what I'm being shown, is this third energy which is masculine, the divine masculine energy, because feminines have been healing that. The masculine is now coming down into our 3D world through the healing of the divine feminine. And this is Christ consciousness, okay? This is, and 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 this is what I was saying again, I want to talk about the different um, religions because none is more important than the other. We need, we, there've been building blocks. Think of it like building blocks. Every religion, every belief system has been a building block to build to this point, to bring and bridge heaven and earth, to bring divine love into 3D incarnation, which has been very difficult, okay? So Christ consciousness is just another part of the building block. OK, so when I talk about that, I don't want you guys to get like, oh, she's a Christian. I'm everything. OK, <laughs> and I have a deep love for Mama Ayahuasca and, and I will do Ayahuasca to the day that I die um, to keep myself healed and clean and open to feminine, divine feminine energy. It's the most healing medicine on the planet. So the let's go back to Christ consciousness. So this is now the third energy that's coming in. And so. This connection between the twin flames, if you've been in union and you're separated and you keep coming back and forth, what's happening right now, you guys, is you're both being asked, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, to highly continue healing yourself so that you're feeling this third energy, the vibration. We're hitting a new vibration now. We're hitting a new place. And I don't want to call it reunion or I'm going to label it, but it's a new vibration. It's a new cycle. It's a new era that's coming in to bring in more healing. So if you've been feeling a lot more darkness lately, a lot more separation. It is the separation within yourself whenever you watch this video, okay? And that is the divine feminine begging you 
begging you. Your darkness will chase you, okay? There's no healing your darkness. There's no modality out there but to love it, accept it, express it, and then move on. And that's not going to happen. That, that, that needs to happen, okay? We can't avoid it. And once we heal that, that is when masculine energy is able to work through you. That's when you get called for mission work. That's when spirit calls you to be of service. That's the next stage. Okay. So this is, this is, I wanted to take out a lot of misconceptions around twin flames because this is a highly holy sacred connection. I wanted to put this out there. Okay. And not to say that it's better than soulmates or divine. Listen, y'all, I'd rather have a soulmate than a twin flame. Like, let me tell you, this, this journey has not been easy. And I've only been on it for 10, well, not really. Okay, I knew I had a twin flame. I've been on it for 10 years. I left my marriage knowing that I had a twin, that I was going to seek out my twin. I only met my, ten, my twin 10 months ago. But this is what I'm saying. It, it, it has been, and the 10 months has been the most craziest journey of my life. I don't know how you guys have been doing it for so many years, but that's why I'm here is because I know that the calling that I have and what my twin has is this divine type of um, knowledge that's not out there right now. Okay. This is really potent, very beautiful stuff that's coming through. Um, so that deep healing needs to happen. So the divine masculine can come in and it's not duality. Now you guys, this is about Father, spirit, sky, God, creative force is now manifestation force, okay? Because feminine is healing, okay? God force, spirit source, Christ conscious, is that's coming in now. This is the third energy. There's a new vibration that's coming up. So if you've been stuck in being able to manifest, not being able to manifest, it's because we've been doing it from a false sense of what masculine and feminine energy are from an ego place. Those paradigms are dying. So more people are having a harder time manifesting. So all these vision boards, things that you've been doing, those things, those, that paradigm is dying out very quickly. That's because you're being asked to heal even deeper. And so as you do this healing, what's going to happen is you're going to start sensing a whole new vibration that's going to be coming in that's entirely different. That is the Christ consciousness that's starting to come in and change the vibration, okay? Um, yeah, and so I wanted to say that there is a brand new cycle coming up. This is a new vibration. If you've been sitting in a lot of darkness lately, if you've been sitting in a lot of pain, more so, it's because it's being asked to heal, to clear yourself of this old stuff, to move into the new vibration. And that's where twin flames are what's happening right now. Now, if you're having a lot of hard time healing and you're stuck in your healing, send me a message, do a free coaching session with me. The free code, if you really, truly, truly are ready to do your work, because I'm going to tell you guys, I make you face your dark, okay? Divine feminines will do that because we love you so much. We got to love the dark, you know? When your child cries and is in pain, do you tell them to, you know, oh, go away, you're bothering me. Like you nurture them in their dark. And that's what divine feminines need to learn to have to sit in the dark with somebody else. And if you can't do that, that means you're running from your own pain. And we can't run from our pain anymore, divine feminines. Okay, the world needs us to bring this and to bridge heaven and earth and to bring peace to the planet. So if we can heal that, then we'll hit the next level of vibration so that the masculine energy can now come and create through us mission will then be channeled more so if you don't know your mission work it has to start with the healing so that mission can come in all right you guys that's all i really wanted to say about that i think there was a lot of information so if you liked what you heard and you want to learn more and you want to join my healing tribe i am going to be i am putting something together in regards to a subscription so join down below hit that like share subscribe notification comment i love you guys i try to talk to you guys as much as possible the channel is growing really big let's keep moving this tribe forward and do this healing journey together i love you all namaste and aho